Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Okewumi and this is the Big Brother Niger Lockdown review um so um it's um 10 days gone in the house and um 61 days left as the housemates are already um protruding their negative vibes you know all through last week i was saying it's all positive vibes and positive energy but this week so far so good from the housemates themselves all that they've been saying all that has been you know displayed is just negative vibes i think they are really tensed because all of them are up for possible evictions and they cannot tell yet which or who has the highest fan base outside the house so all of them are still tense all of them are trying to you know sell themselves for people to vote for them in different ways so um i'm going to give you the highlights of today day 10 in the house so let's get straight into what's happening um so um you can see the picture of two people actually kissing and that is lilo and eric now you recall yesterday i said that lilo went to the diary session she was crying um to biggie that she feels distracted she's she doesn't know what's up what's wrong with her she's feeling distracted i know and biggie advised her to take a break from a relationship with um eric and she and eric also had a conversation where she told eric that they should take they should take things slowly they should slow things down and you know she has a boyfriend outside the house eric so you know they sharp had a conversation on how they would take things slowly minutes after that i told you that lilo was found was spotted sitting on eric's lap okay that didn't mean anything but i thought that they will reduce the way they always cuddle and they're always together but it appears that it's even increasing i i think i don't i don't i don't know i feel lilo cannot do without eric i think she is deeply in love with eric because i we are not seeing the real lilo we are not seeing what lilo stands for we don't even know lilo without eric we don't know eric without lilo and this is really bad for status pack as they all came for the money i mean not not relationship i feel so they started their relationship a little bit early and um it's getting so annoying to watch it's not even you know before it was so interesting to see and now it's it's just becoming very annoying i feel that lilo is too much um entangled with eric i don't know if that's the right word to use so next on today's review is um now this is another confused fellow in the house also also went to the house he was a game changer he was he knew everything he had everything he had the fame he had the fan he had the love he had everything in the house and all of a sudden also finds himself entangled with two ladies dorothy and nengi and he uh, it appears that truly deeply inside also really likes nengi like he really likes her and he just sees dorothy as a friend well i think dorothy likes also but you know the moment she found out that oh he's in love with nengi and all she withdrew herself from the relationship and you know just kept the friendship but now also and his other guy friends were having a conversation and they kept saying that also is getting distracted by pursuing nengi and she's already making him she's already reducing his esteem in the house and all now also wasn't even sure himself he had to when he had his diary session he had to ask biggie if it was true if biggie saw in the light that he was actually getting distracted um with the whole nengi and dorothy issue and biggie asked him one question that i really liked and biggie asked him when you came to the big brother house did you come to win or you came for a relationship and it's clearly that they are all in the house to win so the fact that they are getting distracted by relationships so um dorothy had a conversation with ozo today about him his relationship with nengi because she noticed that he has been avoiding nengi of late and also explained to her that he's seen himself in a triangle whereby every time he tries to have a moment with nengi praise and um, i said praise prince and um kid wire 
always have a way of interrupting them and it, it finds it very awkward and weird because it happens every time and you know i've seen it a lot of times where ozo and nengi are trying to have a moment and then praise just comes or either kid wire just comes to you know be in between so i feel that in the house everybody's just dragging for who they want so it's shoot your shots and whoever likes who whoever wins yes exactly whoever wins it and you know takes the girl so i think that's the situation at the moment with Ozo, Nengi, Prince and Kid Wire. Step on it. Rain. You know those are fun. Rain breaks. Those are fun. Yeah. So, can I go like this? For what? No, yeah. I need to change because I feel like I'm getting cold. Listen. Watch. Now I'm going to explain that short clip you just saw. So basically, Ozo, Trikiti, and Kid Wire were having a conversation, and Nengi came in between the conversation, and she lied in between, like she laid her back in between Ozo and Trikiti, and sat and laid her back, and then put her legs up and opened her legs, like her legs were open, though she was wearing trousers, but it was it was a very um. It was not it was not a pleasant sight to anybody because it was bringing you know the v and it was it was she was right in front of kidwire and so also was trying to give kidwire the sign to leave her front you understand that it should leave like he was giving him the bro code like guy guy with his eyes and guy guy move and you know kidwire is quite smart he stood up he excused himself so um now from this i feel nengi likes kid wire more not because of this clip but because of what i've been observing lately i feel she likes kid wire more and she sees also as a friend but anyways in a diary session today um when biggie asked her who she thought would who she would have loved to become the head of house for this week she said also because also it has a very good personality relates with others well and listen listens to others so we are not sure who she likes per se but um from her conversation with also today um i think they had an argument and nengi was trying to tell also that you don't have to be upset after all we are just friends right and that 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 is what got me i don't know if she's waiting for also to actually make them official say something about having wanted to be in because what also keeps saying is he's attracted to nengi he's not saying i want to be in the relationship with nengi so i feel nengi doesn't want to push forward or maybe probably nengi doesn't like him as she used to be for whichever way we are not sure but before the week runs out we will get to you know see that let's now move away from nengi and also issue and go to tolani badge so today tolani badge made it clear to us why she unleashed a katrina the way she did yesterday during their argument now she said during the life eviction show on sunday when ibuka asked her why she has been called and we're not really seeing who tolani is you know she told us when she was entering the house that she was going to give us pepe she was going to be the vibe in the basket for Jose, but you know eventually she turned out to be very cold and Tolani Badge explained that and um, after that she explained that oh she's just trying to observe the housemates and trying to get to know the housemates individually and their characters and she hasn't found anybody she can be close to per se and then she had Katrina whisper to somebody that why would somebody come to the house to be observing and since then she's been trying to avoid Katrina and she says when she sees Katrina going the right way she turns the left so as to avoid any form of argument or confrontation with katrina but yesterday's situation was just a situation could she could not help but you know find herself in so that's why she unleashed a katrina the way she did yesterday the on today's highlight is lecon's and erica's friendship i feel that their friendship in the house is so far the realest the most genuine and you know the sweetest because um during erica's diary session today um big brother asked her who she would have preferred to you know become the head of house for this week and you know erica chose lecon and big brother asked her why 
Lekon. And she said Lekon is so far the closest person she's been with in the house. And Lekon is pretty smart. He listens to others and he relates with people well. And when she was asked about Kidwire, she was like, I and Kidwire are still getting to know each other and they're just flirting. So guys, let's let's be guided. She used the word flirting. She didn't say they're in a relationship. So she still and Kidwire are just flirting. <laughs> all right, that's all we can take today on the Big Brother Niger Review. My name is Okewumi, and if you are just watching my videos for the first time, do not forget to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and let me see your comments in the comment section. Have a wonderful day ahead. Bye.